Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the world of email marketing with MailChimp and I'll be walking you through the process of creating a new audience in MailChimp which is a fundamental step in building and managing your email campaigns. But before we jump into the action, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest adventures and it'll keep you on the loop for future content. And to our returning viewers, welcome back and we appreciate your ongoing support and could not wait to embark you on this journey with all of you once again. Now, I'd like to uh, clarify that uh, there are several, several reasons why making it a fundamental step in your email marketing strategy because um, by creating different audiences, you can segment your email list based on various criteria such as, you know, location, interests, purchase history, or engagement levels. This allows you to send highly targeted and relevant content for to um, specific groups of subscribers and targeted emails are more likely to resonate with recipients resulting in higher open and click-through rates and how cool is that, right? And as we all know, segmented audiences uh, enables you to personalize your email content by addressing subscribers by their first name or tailoring product recommendations based on their previous purchases, enhances the subscriber experience and increases the chances of conversion. By, you know, sending relevant content to your subscribers, it demonstrates that you understand their needs and interests. Somehow, it builds trust and credibility, ultimately leading to stronger customer relationships and loyalty. And uh, MailChimp actually provides detailed analytics and reporting for each audience, when you have distinct audiences, you can easily track the performance of your campaigns for each segment. And this data will allow you to refine your strategies over time. Now, if you are if you're using the same version that I have, um your dashboard should look something like this one. Right? So we hover down to um, campaigns, all oh, campaigns, right? So we go here to audience. It'll take a while. Give it a few seconds. All right, so you are now here in this part where it says grow MailChimp audience. Just click add your contacts, right? Now you are given three options here. So how would you like to add your contacts? Is it by um, import uh, from another service? If you wanted to upload a file, CSV or text file or copy and paste from your contacts from a spreadsheet or similar list. So for now, let's hover to uh, import from another service. So it gives you a plenty of, uh, of platforms that you can import to like Zapier, Salesforce, Woo, Intuit, QuickBooks, Squarespace, and Shopify. So it's all up to you. It depends on your preference and your access. But for now, let's, let's, go, let's go back. Let's say you wanted to um, import a file here and then hit continue. So obviously, um, you will be asked to uh, browse or drop and drop the file if you wanted. So it's all up to you. But again, the files that are accepted are CSV and text file. Now we hover down to exit and then last but not the least would probably um copy and paste if you continue that you know if you have already um some examples here you're already um gonna be looking some uh information that you can copy and paste to your contact and that's it doubt how you basically um make or create a new audience in MailChimp. How cool is that? And thank you for joining us today. 
If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel.